You can't talk about basketball in Indiana without saying, Megan, a couple of words. Let me say these words. Larry Bird, <laughs> Myland, and Hinkle Fieldhouse. In fact, you had a chance to visit that crown jewel where now the Butler Bulldogs call home. That's right, Raphael. And the first game at Hinkle Fieldhouse tips off at 12.15 this afternoon. And I got a chance to talk to John Dedman, the Associate Athletic Director at Butler University. He tells us all about the legacy of the big dance and the arena where a large part of Indiana's basketball history lives. Let's start off way back when in 1928, right? That's when it all started. There's just so many things about Hinkle that are so unique. Um, and we're adding another page to that uh, this week. For a building that's been around for more than 90 years, we've only hosted NCAA tournament games once back in 1940. So you know the whole history of Hinkle. At least dating back to when, when I was a student here, yes. And then, uh, you know, of course, over the years, it's, you know, it's, it's hosted so many unique things, from presidents to Jesse Owens ran here in 1936 as part of the relays that were once here. Um, you know, just so many different things over the years have, have been hosted here. But at the, at the core of it, you know, Hinkle Fieldhouse is a basketball venue. For decades, the high school championships um, were held here. You know, the game that, that the movie Hoosiers is based off of, that game was actually played here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to the championship game. What does it mean to you personally, then, to have the NCAA March Madness Tournament at Hinkle? You know, from a from a Hinkle standpoint, from a Butler University standpoint, you know, we're just really excited to be able to showcase what what we do and and this beautiful venue to so many people, uh, whether that's a national television audience or that that's visitors who are coming here with their team for the first time seeing a game at Hinkle. We've got uh, uh, three games a day all the way through the Sweet 16. Ready to kick it off then? <laughs> I'm really both hopeful and confident that uh, we're going to have a great tournament. And we really appreciate John Dedman at Butler University for talking with us. Such a cool history here and really yeah. makes you proud to be a Hoosier. Yeah, that was super cool. That's, that's right. Raphael, yeah. you, you weren't in the studio listen, for this. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say no, you no, weren't in the studio for not. this discussion, but Megan wants some spirit wear from one of the schools in Indiana. And Todd and I are thinking Butler, everyone likes Butler. You know, it's a little controversial. Sure. IU Purdue, which one do you pick? But <laughs> Butler, they have a cute bulldog mascot. We'll get her something. Yeah, the good thing about Indiana is we have so many, I mean, so many great basketball teams. Right. You really, I mean, whatever apparel you get, you're going to be <laughs> right on. Whether or not they're in the tournament doesn't matter. I mean, all of these teams have just great fan bases. So, listen, if you didn't make it this year, there's next year, you know, <laughs> we're going to be okay. At the end of the day, uh, you just watched a historical site on a day that the state, our city, is making history. We're going to be okay. It's going to be all good. <laughs> that is right. And Todd, the Hoosiers, they'll have another chance, hopefully, in the future. But let's check in with Todd.